So now let's add in some automation features inside of our Trello board by working with the card button in Butler Power App. So I'm going to go to Butler for this and then on the left side you can see that there is card button. And as I do some tasks repeatedly, uh, there are some card buttons with the automation tip is actually suggest me, suggesting me to put as well. But over here, we're going to do everything from scratch. So we're going to go around onto the left side and we're going to click on card button. So once I click on card button, I'm going to click on create button from right over here. And then I can give a button name. So let's say the button uh, that I want to create is add in labels, just like this, add in labels. And uh, let's say, for example, task right over here. So I'm going to add an action just like this. And then let's say, once I click this button, what needs to happen is that uh, in the card, uh, the label should be added in. So I'm just going to go around into uh, add and remove, and then I'm going to add in uh, completed. So that's the label that needs to be added. And let's say, for example, in progress needs to be added and revision required needs to be added as well. So let's say three bars all gets added once I click on the button. And what else happens is that members are assigned. So uh, members should join the card. Let's say, for example, add member to the tube and add member uh, to the tube 21. So these are the things that will happen once someone clicks the button. So if I were to click on save, I can create the button right here. So only one button uh, is allowed. So I'm just going to close and the button will be available inside the card now. So let's say, for example, I want to work around with uh, this card right here. So if I were to click here, you'll be able to see the button over here on to the side. So there's add in labels. As you can see, this is the button created. So once I click on this, what happens is that the butler takes in charge and adds in um, all the labels, as you can see, just like that and assigns both of the members. So I can close this out. I can do the same here. So there's the power up. So if I were to click on add in labels, what happens is that the labels are added in and then uh, you'll be able to see that uh, both of the members are assigned. So similarly, you can go into Butler just like this. And there are some automations that is suggested to me. So uh, the free version only supports one function at a time. So I need to go to card button and remove this out. So I'm just going to remove this just like this. And then I'm going to go to automation tips and let's see what it is suggesting me to do. So it says add member to the tube to the card, remove due date from the card. So this is something I seem to do quite often. So I can create the add button and create a card out of this just like that. So once happened, this is the button name. So I'm just going to say remove due date. Let's say this is what is that. So I'm just going to save this out and now the remove due date is there. So that's the due date right here. So I'm just going to go around and click on remove due date. And what will happen is that the due date is removed from that card just like that. So that is how I can use uh, the Butler card button function inside of Trello. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.